What's going on everybody, Dawsonator here, back again with some more Pokemon Stadium. We're flying straight into the Poke Cup. Now I didn't realise that there was four different classes, I don't really know how this works. So these might be a bit longer, which is good. So, I'm going to pick Snorlax. Got some badass moves. Dragonite, definitely. Starmie, definitely. Gyarados, definitely. Nidoqueen, definitely. What else have I got here? Ooh, that's right. Maybe we get rid of Nidoqueen and we get some legendaries into the fray. Maybe we go... Maybe we go Moltres, uh, Articuno and Zapdos. They're just too good, you can't not have them in there. Okay, let's go, let's do this shiz knit. Here we go. I'm gonna smash this guy. Starmie, Zapdos. Gyarados. Let's do it. Let's do it. Finally underway with I can't believe we're on episode three already. This is ridiculous. It's gone by so fast. I'm gonna try and get these up daily too before I start my Pokemon Gold playthrough. I'm, and I, I think I have decided I'm gonna do a full walkthrough playthrough every second of the game with the ability to speed it up so it goes a little bit quicker. Bye bye. So, once we complete Pokemon Stadium, I might do Pokemon Snap before we get into Gold 2 because I just want to have a little bit extra time to work on the uh, border that I've been trying to do. I found like a nice little uh, gold and silver background on the internet and I'm trying to work that on Photoshop so that I can have my, uh, you know, the, back, the background border, whatever you want to call it, around the actual gameplay so it looks nice and pretty while I'm playing through the game. Um, and I'm also trying to figure out if I want to record my face as I'm playing it too, so we'll see. We'll see what I come up with, we'll see what we can do. Number of remaining Pokemon. It's a knitter and female. It's going to be a quick battle, folks. Oh, I hit the wrong number. Oh, no, I didn't. That was lucky. I fluked that. Psychic attack. That was perfect. And there goes the battle! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yep, so we have to go through four things to win the Poke Cup. It's not like the other two where we win just eight battles and win the whole cup. This is, we have to go through four lots of eight so we're gonna spend four episodes on the pokey cup that's pretty nuts that is pretty nuts i'm going zapdos i'm going snorlax i'm going gyarados let's do it what kind of battle can we expect to see begin round two oh voltor ba 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 I suppose I'm just going to do Thunderbolt. Right, did enough. Explosion! Down already! Here we go. Oddish, Oddish, Oddish. Game on, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Right, drill pack. Drill pack. Drill pack. You're dead, motherfucker. See you later. Gotta love the commentator. 
He does get you, like, I remember as a kid, he would get me so into the game. I used to play this a lot when I was a kid. And I did fork out a lot of money to get this again so that I could play it as a big kid. Um, the remaining Pokemon count is three oh my God, thunder. Um, but I remember when I was a lot younger, I would play this and the, like, damn it. If I got a one hit kill, it was like the greatest thing ever. And I was so excited. Son of a bitch. You son of the bitch. So that was very exciting. I just remember his, his uh, enthusiasm made it very uh, contagious to play this game. So, and as a kid, I got so excited by it as well. I just remember, you know, going, "Oh my god, I got a one-hit kill!" And if you played it with your friends or whatever, it was a big, a big deal. So that's funny. Thunderbolt again. Winner, winner. He knows Thunder. If he hits me, it's game for Zapdos. No, it's not. No, it's not. Thunderbolt. Gotcha. Oh, it's so cute, but it faints. I can't believe that. There goes the battle! Battle number two. I can't believe that they actually were going to pick Clefairy as the, as the, ah, like Ash's Pokemon sort of thing. It was going to be the, the mascot. Well, that's crazy when you think about it. How different Pokemon would be if they'd picked Clefairy. Like, do you think that Pokemon would be as big as it is? Like, I don't think, it, I honestly don't think it would be. I don't think it would be a chance in hell. It would be anywhere near as big as it would be if they picked Clefairy. And I'm not, like biased against Clefairy. I think it's a good Pokemon, speaking of. He's got one on his team. Um, I don't know. I just don't think that it would have worked. I don't think Clefairy's a good, like, mascot Pokemon. I think it's cute. Don't get me wrong. And I think it's got, you know, some funny, like, background stories behind it. How, you know, Clefay was the, the light version of Gengar and all that sort of shit. And there's all that sort of stuff that goes on. But it just... Oh, I just couldn't, I didn't believe that when I heard that, and I heard it a fair while ago, I think, I think we've all, we all knew that, um, well, unless you don't know, but, yeah, Clef the fact that Clefairy was the choice to be the mascot was surprising as, I couldn't believe it, so, oh, fuck off with your hypnosis. Yeah, yeah, it's good that he missed. Thunderbolt! They strike fighting Here we go! I just bought this new game chair. Oh, fuck off! I should've just done surf. Now shit's gonna go. Oh, not good. Here we go, me. Um, I just bought this new gaming chair and I'm fucking in love with it. It's like... I found it at a salvo store, would you believe? Yeah! Ha 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 ha! No! Damn right it is. Um, yes, I found this game. I, I was, I, because I moved into my new unit, right, I've got my stuff in the background behind me that you'll see when I do do face recordings and stuff, but. I've also got um, my mum's old dining table as my computer desk because I didn't want a conventional computer desk because I think it's too high for this room. This room's not very big. And I want to get some stuff to you know, do some uh, noise reduction and all that sort of stuff. But let's go psychic. But um, I've been thinking too that like, I really, like I was using my, the dining chairs that have been around forever. I was thinking, oh, I really want to get a game chair, like a, a, even just a nice desk chair. It doesn't have to be a super big one with leather or anything, but I thought, oh, I, I, won't, I won't worry about it too much. But we went, because my mum's like, who lives in Tasmania at the bottom of Australia, I was sort of thinking, oh, you know, it'd be nice to have a nice chair to sit in. So I sort of mentioned it to my mum, and she said, well, why don't you just go look at some of the second-hand stores? And, a salvo store or something like that and try and pick up a cheap one. And she was dead right. We went into a couple and 
I was sort of looking for some stuff around the house too because it was only moved in a week ago. And we found, I found um, these two leather chairs over by the um, mattresses and stuff, like the secondhand mattresses. Ugh, wouldn't be buying that. But yeah, I found this chair. Perfect condition. It's perfect for me, perfect size, good height for the desk. Um, obviously, it's adjustable as well, so I'm like super happy about that. Um, and yeah, it was just a ripper fine. It was only 20 bucks. I was looking at one at, uh, like, a, when was I looking? I was looking at some furniture store and it was like $200 for a chair basically exactly the same. Um, and I was like, fuck it, now they're not bad asking all that sort of money for for what it is, you know? It's, it's just a, ch a ch crappy chair. It's not leather. Um, well, not real leather from what I could tell anyway. And, you know, they're asking bloody 200 bucks. It's like, no way. Um, so as far as I can tell, this one's like that synthetic leather, but like my room's not very hot anymore. I've put um, some stuff up on the on the window so that it doesn't get too hot in here. Um, it really does block out a lot of heat as well, which is good. So that's exciting. So yeah, I got a new chair. And I love my chair. My chair's fantastic. So, yes, it's very nice. I like having, uh, and I can like, like, as I'm talking right now, I'm swiveling in my chair. I don't have to sit still, I can swivel, it doesn't make any, like, noises, it just, it's dead silent, it's a good chair, I'm very happy with it. Oh, Thunderball! Gyarados is a badass. Oh yeah, good on you Gyarados. I'm thinking about using a Chansey too, but they're like, they're so hard to kill, but they make the battle drag on. I really don't want a battle that drags on. Wow, you got the cream of the crop. No! I assume they're only going to get harder and harder as we go in though. I think, you know, they'll be like all level, well not all level 55, but each team will have, you know, 52, 52, 51, and it'll get a bit harder. Because the max you can have in a battle is 155. Go, Good job, Gyarados. I've actually got a tattoo of Gyarados. Right on my left arm, next to a Venusaur and a Blastoise. A Charizard up on my shoulder, a Scyther on my bicep, and a Charmeleon on my forearm. So it's fair to say that I like Pokemon a fair bit. I should actually put the photos up on my Instagram or something, but I haven't yet. I will at some point. Starmie's getting a look in, having the psychic ability. I'm really going to be uh, working hard too as to uh, lose a bit of weight. I'm feeling a little bit um, fat for me. I'm actually quite a slim build person. I'm, I'm, not, weight, I'm not quite happy with it. I think I was too happy about six months ago, so. I think this is an eye. In a happy spot now with the, with the new house and stuff. Where we were living before, it wasn't exactly ideal conditions, so. Good. It's very good. We're very happy, so. Like I said before in the last episode, we just up there from the beach. And it's good shit. I'm gonna go down for a wander on the beach later and chuck a few things and try and keep fit. That's all we need to do. We might be in for a one sided affair. One sided affair. Very cute little Pokemon, Goldang. The remaining Pokemon is going to last long. Sami is such a badass. Look at hit too, he's gone. Thank you very much. See ya later, alligator. Oh, that's sad. It goes belly up. Oh, poor Goldang. Oh, and a tentacle. Well, we've got this in the bag, folks. <laughs> Not even a touch, Army. This has been a very easy episode so far. I think it's uh, going to gradually get harder and harder, though, which is what I'm hoping for, because I'd like a bit of a chunk. I will have Mewtwo for the Prime Cup, though. I'm very excited for him. So, I'm going to have... A lot of 
I've got a lot of level 100 Pokemon to choose from too, which is always nice. I haven't even used Snorlax yet, but he's been on my team like three times. Do, do, do. Fair to say, I think we've got this one too. Gyarados, Articuno, Zapdos. I feel bad for the other blokes. I've got no chance now. The field is thinning out. We're into round six. Tatarat. That's a good name. Tatarat. That is a good name. You're in a bit of trouble. Beautiful. Taken down on the word go. This is a wild one from the word go. Wild one from the word go. Oh, it's close. The Pokemon are entirely different types. I'm sort of thinking too for savage attack. The gold playthrough that I'm not no, going to slay this badgie. I don't know, I'm still far less than I am with the line for it. There's a distinct oh, difference see, here we go. in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's fun! No, I love Charmander, so cute. Look at him. The battle has become one sided. Time for you to go Let though. Go. No. No. Oh, Squiggly a eyes. And there goes the battle. Good Gyarados. Again, did not get touched. It's always nice. Here we go. This does look like it might be one of my quicker episodes. We might even get just done just over 20 minutes. The last week been all over 30. If you got mainly Zapdos all the way. Zapdos, Articuno, and Snorlax again. Oh, I just got a message from my mother, my evil mother, eating one of my favourite foods. I hate her right now, I really do. She's a bitch. Never liked her, never liked her anyway. Let's go with Drill Peck. Get the shit over and done with, because now all I'm thinking about is donuts. Down already. There's been major action already. There's been major action already. Oh, it's Slopo. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Thunderbolt. Get this shit over and done with. Such big feet, is that rough? It'd be a frightening bird if it was flying in your direction, wouldn't it? Gone! It's a one hit wonder! Yeah, that would suck. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Oh, it's perfect! Oh, it's perfect! The remaining Pokemon count is 3, three to one. 1. The battle has become one sided. Here we go. 3, 2, 1, Seven. bang! Perfect. Good job. One battle to go. Wow. That didn't take much. One battle to go, folks. we go, perfect. Zapdos is really a badass. I'm gonna go 
and have my toughest Pokemon out for a spin. Gentleman. Oh, old man. We are bringing out Dragonite, Snorlax, and Starmie. We're going to wipe the floor with them. All day, every day. Every day. Dragonite versus Latini. God, I hope I've got Ice Man. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Should do a bit of damage. Sorry, buddy. It's a very weird fainting animation to go as stiff as a board. I suppose it makes sense. Magnemite. Oh, I like he's a bit shiny. A bit of a different colour theme. Let's go Ice Beam again. See if this knocks him out. Don't have Thunder Wave. Fuck you. Nah, damn it. What a furious battle. And then Thunderbolt. What's this? Good move set. Oh, nice. He's gone. Major damage! Sure is. One to go. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Or Porygon. Oh, it's Porygon! I'm going to do a Thunderbolt and a Hyper Beam for the win. I don't think Thunderbolt will kill it, to be honest. And Porygon's got good defense. What now? What a weird Pokemon Porygon is. Oh. oh, he's paralyzed too. Oh, that means I get first attack, bitches. I better I'm faster than him. There it is. It's gotta be the win, folks. Yeah. We are the champions. Congratulations! The champion has been decided! Yep, we don't muck around. We're here to get shit done. Well guys, that's the end of this episode. We've done it. Let's quickly watch the Hall of Fame. And then we will be back with the Great Ball. Thank you everybody for watching. Poke Cup, Poke Ball, clear! We'll be back with the Great Ball Challenge. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the Dorsonator12. Put it on Facebook at the Dorsonator. Make sure you subscribe and like this for me, guys. I'll make sure that I keep bringing you really good content as well. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.